week Sunday at 9 p.m. We come up with static GK and current affairs section and this is part 30. So if I'm audible and visible, uh, just write in the comments. Yes, sir, you're audible. Agar meri awaz hai, just write in the comments. Yes, sir, you're audible. Okay, so let's start as, as you all know that um, I give you question and you have to you have to answer it in the live chat. Uh, so let's start with the first question. The first question says, who is the chief minister of Manipur? Uh, your options are Mr. Conrad Sangma, Mr. Zoram Thanga, Mr. Nephew Ryu, Mr. N. Biren Singh. What is the right answer to this question? Uh, I hope you are aware Manipur has been in the news because of some violence and all. So you have to tell me uh, the name of the chief minister and please tell me the name of capital also. What is the capital of Manipur and uh, who is the chief minister? So I think you should be knowing these basic facts. So uh, the capital of Manipur is Imphal. Okay, so the capital is Imphal. And the chief minister is option D. Yes, uh, Mr. N. Biren Singh is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, so he has been the ch chief minister since 15th March 2017. So D is the right answer. Yes, Saket is right. And Alauddin is also right. Yes, Imphal is the right answer. Uh, the capital is Imphal and the chief minister is Mr. N. B. Rain Singh. Uh, now the question is, Mr. N. B. Rain Singh, the CM of Manipur belongs to which political party? Your options are Manipur United Front, Bharati Janata Party, Revolutionary Socialist Party, Indian National Congress. What is the right answer to this question? Uh, the CM of Manipur, ke, uh, Mr. N. B. Rain Singh, belongs to political party? Se belong karte? What is the right answer? Because, because these are basic facts to get Manipur news, so you have to basic these basic Okay. So the right answer is actually option B. He is from BJP, Bharatiya Janata Party. So just have an idea about that. Yes, Saket, very good. Uh, it's from a BJP. It's from BJP. Uh, the next is the term Belt and Road Initiative. news If you read any newspaper, you will come across this word Belt and Road Initiative. It's you go one belt, one road initiative. We get Okay. Sometimes uh, called as Silk Route and all. It's uh, actually well, uh, oh, Silk Route. Pehle zaman bhi hota tha, usi ka ek copy se bhi se. Yes. So this is by yes, Ananya, Tanya. Yes, the right answer is China. So Belt and Road Initiative is an initiative of China. I hope you are aware. Just aapko pata hoga. Say China hai. This is India. So it is an attempt to connect it with the rest of the world through roads, railways, pipelines, maritime routes, or that is uh, the Navy route and all. And dekho, ye bhi dekh sakte ho. China hai. This correcting. Through roads and all the go. So, kaise, 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 rest of the countries. Mein. So, that is what it is also called as modern Silk Route because history of China mein log aate the, Silk Route and they used to earn and all. Uh, they used to do trade and all. Hai na? Yes. So, you should be knowing about it. That's important. Belt and Road Initiative. B is the right answer. Yes, Saket, Alauddin, Haq, Ananya, me hear you all. Right? Uh, yes, it is actually an initiative of the current president of China, Mr. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. He is the president. Okay. So, just have an idea. Uh, the next is when did Taliban came to power in Afghanistan? Your options are August 22, August 21, December 21, January 23. So you should be knowing it because these all are recent phenomena and they can ask questions from here. What is the right answer? Anyone? Waiting for the answer. Yes, the right answer is August 2021. So B is the right answer. Uh, okay. Uh, uske liye operation bhi chalaya gaya tha. Operation Devi Shakti was done to bring Indian back. They go rekhan 24 January, August 2021. So almost around 14, 15 August 2021, the change of power or transfer of power happened. Okay. So just have an idea. Yes, Alauddin Haq, very good, Saket. You all right. Meher, yes, sir. Uh, so this is the operation Devi Shakti. Uh, the VA, hai na? So Indians actually who were living in Afghanistan were brought back. Of course, of course, with the help of embassy officials and all. So and that's called as Operation Devi Shakti. Just have an idea because these types of things are in the news. Uh, so here is India. This is Afghanistan and the capital is Kabul. Itta the patauga basic things. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, recently, the coronation ceremony uh, of Charles III, who is the king of Dash, happened. Bhutan, Brunei, UK, Spain. Coronation jo taas poshi, hai na? means actually this is a ceremony in which uh, the officially the king is given the charge and all Taj uh, and all. So this happened. So Charles III is the king of which country? 
ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज यू के सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन देखो एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन वॉज लास्ट ईयर हिज मदर डाइड आई थिंक अराउंड अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर एंड ही बिकेम द किंग बट द कोरोनेशन सर वेनी हैपन दिस ईयर इन माई ठीक है सो दिस इज मिस्टर चार्ल्स थ्री His mother was actually Queen Elizabeth II and all. I hope you are aware of that, Anna. Yes. So the right answer is C. Yes. Very good. Alauddin, Hafsa, Kate, Fabian, Thomas. You are right. Uh, the next is question six. Which country in the world has the largest area under groundwater irrigation in the world? ये सब कई बार न्यूज़ बारे में आता रहता है, so that's why I'm discussing India, China, Russia, USA. What is the right answer? Largest area under groundwater irrigation. So actually, the right answer is it is India. So just have an idea. So. okay yes uh the next is who is the chairman of inquiry commission into whether dalit converts to religion other than sikhism or buddhism should get scheduled caste status and these are the options so basically uh, the concept of scheduled caste or the scheduled caste reservation is currently limited to hindus buddhist and jain sorry hindus buddhist and sikha so basically uh, some people file a petition that if a uh, person has converted to christianity islam judaism or any other religion uh, he should also remain i mean the scheduled caste status should not be lost so for that a committee has been set up and the chairman is uh, justice k g balakrishnan so b is the right answer and this committee has been set up so he is famous why because he is the first uh, dalit chief justice of india kabhi kabhi se puchte hain exam mein so just have an idea so b is the right answer to this question Okay, so he is retired now. He is a retired judge now. Okay. Okay. The next is which article of the Constitution talks about a president having power to designate a tribe as scheduled tribe? Why? Because this uh, news is related with Manipur. Actually, in Manipur, a uh, Manipur High Court advised the state government that Miti tribe should be added in. Miti tribe should be added in scheduled tribe. and it is said uh, according to the different experts that perhaps one of the reason why violence started was this as well and not so that is why it was coming in the news article 342 so the president has the power to designate so b is the right answer uh, okay now why i am telling you dekho what happened was when manipur high court uh, passed an order the supreme court criticized the order of manipur high court the supreme court of india criticized it why and it said it is factually wrong because it is not the job of judiciary rather it is the job of president so the president adds someone in scheduled tribe or scheduled caste okay so 341 talks about scheduled caste and 342 article talks about scheduled tribe so that is what the supreme court uh, said ki high court should not have passed this order this is a factually incorrect statement uh, and, and that is why uh, it is the job of president on the advice of council of minister council of minister means prime minister and his ministers advises and uh, then only the president will designate some tribe as scheduled tribe okay so just have an idea b is the right answer uh, the next is who is the chairperson of financial stability and development council fsdc your options are niti ayog vice chairman finance secretary rbi governor finance minister financial stability development council hota hai uske chairman kon hai so the right answer is finance minister just have an idea isme zyada detail nahi jana hai theek hai okay yes Uh, the next one is People's Liberation Army is an army of which country? India, China, US, UK. PLA कौन सी किस country की army? Why? Because of course, uh, I think in December last year, in Tawang, Tawang is a place in Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh में uh, actually there have been some clashes between Indian and Chinese forces and all. वो सब news में था. So basically, PLA is Chinese army. So B is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea. ये पता होना चाहिए बिकॉज ऑफ कोर्स ये कई बार न्यूज में आता है यस यस अलाउद्दीन हैव फेबिन थॉमस साकेत दी वाला राइट हां न्यूज़पेपर में ये सब टर्म्स आते हैं तो आपको पता होना चाहिए द नेक्स्ट इज नेम द प्लेस वेयर गौतम बुद्धा वाज बोर्न कुशीनगर लुंबिनी बोधगया सारनाथ ये सब तो पूछते ही है गौतम बुद्धा की लाइफ से रिलेटेड इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स एंड ऑल सो व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द प्लेसेस प्लेस वेयर ही वाज बोर्न एनीवन यस नवीन चौधरी तानिया यस Uh, this is actually in uh, Nepal. Okay, Lumbini we call it, Romandai we call it, Romandi. As we write it. Okay. Okay. So B is the right answer to this question. You will find it here. So this is the state of UP. This is the state of Bihar. Okay. So here you will find Lumbini. Okay. Yes. 
नहीं बोध गया सही नहीं है देखो मैं बताता हूँ आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट बर्थ बोध गया में एक्चुअली ही गॉट इनलाइटेनमेंट Enlightenment he got in Bodhya. ठीक Enlightenment first तो under people tree and all uh, he got knowledge, है ना? So here, yeah. so just understand I'm talking about born so born is Lumbini. ठीक है? Uh, the next is what is the name of political party of Imran Khan? PPP, PMLN, PATI, Awami National Party because he was recently arrested. Actually he was uh, there are two cases against him. ठीक है? so uh, he was arrested in one of the case and all it was coming very much in the news so that is why you should be knowing it he is the ex pm of pakistan so please tell me ki what is the name of the political party of imran khan anyone yes alaudin haq saqat very good pti pakistan tehreek e insaf so ye kafi news mein tha imran khan arrested after pakistan court sentence him to 3 years jail and all it was coming in the news a lot theek hai So just have an idea about it. See is the right answer. Now the question is, what is the name of the case in which Imran Khan was arrested? Al Imran Trust case, Al Qadi Trust case, Al Quraysh Trust case. None of the above. Imran Khan was arrested in which case? Yes, Agansha Karsha. Very good. Al Qadi Trust case. Name. Actually, two cases are running. One Al Qadi Trust case, one Tosha Khana case. Be running. कार्बन बॉर्डर एडजस्टमेंट मैकेजम सी बैम इज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इट इज अकेजम टू चार्ज कार्बन टैक्स बाई यू एस ए यूरोपियन यूनियन चाइना रशिया In fact, India has opposed it. ठीक है तो इसमें होगा क्या एक्चुअली इट इज बाई यूरोपियन यूनियन सो बी इज द राइट आंसर देखो एक्चुअली क्या है कि लेट से यूरोपियन यूनियन इज ए ग्रुपिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन यूरोपियन कंट्रीज है ना ना इफ लेट से इंडिया इज एक्सपोर्टिंग समथिंग टू यूरोपियन यूनियन ठीक है एंड विच हैज एक्चुअली कार्बन फुटप्रिंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आयरन सो और कोल ये आयरन अगर एक्सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं सो आयरन ऑल्सो हैज वेन यू प्रोड्यूस आयरन यू नीड टू एक्चुअली हैव सम कार्बन इमेशन एंड ऑल सो द यूरोपियन यूनियन कैन इम्पोज सम इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी और इम्पोर्ट टैक्स सो वट विल हैपन द इंडियाज एक्चुअली इंडियाज प्रोडक्ट विल बिकम लेस कंपटेटिव नो वन विल बाई बिकॉज ऑफ अपोर्ट टैक्सेस सो दैट इज वाई इंडिया हैज अपोज दिस आइडिया सी बैम ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया So B is the right answer to this question. Yes, Akansha Kashyap, right? B is the right answer. Tanya Mitra, very good. Now, what is European Union border, carbon border adjustment mechanism and all? Okay. So and uh, and why is India opposing it and all? Okay. Uh, before moving on, guys, this is a. Uh, uh, I hope you are aware we are providing a free trial of three day for our app. So download our app, go to cat section, and you can go for the three day free trial. And these are our. Um, Classes. I mean, eighty five, eighty plus mark test, ten thousand plus practice question, etc. We are providing, and these are our toppers. Next time you can also be here. Okay, and uh, we are providing three hundred plus engaging videos, one thirty five plus live session, seventy five plus mark test. Okay, so it is all all India Open mark we are running. Everyone, anyone can attempt. Just app download. Kijiye. By use exam prep ka cat me jao. Cat section me and please attempt it. It is from 8th to 17th September. Everyone should attempt it. That would be very very beneficial. ठीक है सबको try कीजिए. And on 14th September at 3 p.m. we'll be having a session on YouTube. Ask us anything. ठीक है. So uh, uh, four faculties will be there and they will be uh, going live. Uh, जो भी सवाल पूछ सकते हैं, जो भी confusion MBA से related uh, they will answer you. ठीक है. And 17th September को at 11 a.m. in the morning we'll be having a workshop with uh, Sri Nivas sir. Okay. so the link is given in the description from where you can register for this okay uh, the next one is question number 15 cbdr common but differentiated responsibility was formalized in the year common but differentiated responsibility actually deals with environment related matter okay now what is the meaning of that so it means actually uh, the idea is that yes developing nation and developed nations both are important i mean both have the role 
ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग कार्बन इमिशन ओके और यस कंट्रोलिंग इन्वायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन बट डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज शुड हैव मोर रोल वाई बिकॉज इन द पास दे हैव डन मोर पॉल्यूशन सो इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज मोर दैट दे शुड बी एक्चुअली कंट्रोलिंग द इन्वायरमेंट पॉल्यूशन है ना Yes, the right answer is B. 1992 Earth Summit. Sir, special session by Tisnet. The exam is just before. Okay. Now, the session you are watching, that's enough. At uh, that time, uh, we will be having some more. Na? Okay. Yes, B is the right answer. Yes, Saket. Huh? Saket is right. Uh, Rio Summit was in 1992. Mein, Earth Summit, we that's called. So after that, actually, this is the CBDR ka concept innovated. I mean, the uh, World Game and all. Okay. It's uh, of course United Nations uh, stand and all. Huh? द नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ ताइवान ये न्यूज में आई होप यू आर अवेयर देखो ताइवान इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर ठीक है सेमी कंडक्टर का लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर है सो वेन ताइवान इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज वाई यूएस वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ गुड रिलेशन विद ताइवान ठीक है और भी बहुत सारे स्ट्रेटेजिक रीजन है वो आपको उतना नहीं जानना है so basically uh, the capital is taipei b is the right answer so here is india this is china this is usa and here you will find them on okay okay yes so the right answer is b yes navin choudhary you are right saket you are right uh, the next is who is the president of syria umar al bashir uh, umar bashar al assad abdul fattah al sisi none of the above syria syria ke capital bataiye सीरिया की कैपिटल है डेमास्कस एंड व्हाट इज यस एंड बशर अल असद इज द प्रेसिडेंट सो बी इज द राइट आंसर बिकॉज सीरिया इज विटनेसिंग सिविल वॉर एंड ऑल फॉर द पास्ट मेनी इयर्स सो यू शुड बी हैव सम बेसिक आईडिया अबाउट इट यस यस अलाउद्दीन हक यू ऑल राइट ओके सो हियर इज इंडिया दिस इज सीरिया दिस वन ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया द नेक्स्ट इज इली कोहेन इज द फॉरेन मिनिस्टर ऑफ Russia, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Qatar. So he was in the news because he came to India a few months back and all uh, met the uh, foreign minister of India and all. So Eli Cohen is actually the foreign minister of Israel. You can see, and our ninth May ke news hai. Uh, Mr. S. J. Shankar, the foreign minister of India, to meet Israel foreign minister Eli Cohen in Delhi today. Yeh ninth May ke news hai. Okay. Uh, the next is Victory Day celebration. Which country is it? Victory Day celebration. It has some relation with World War Two. Okay. रशिया यूक्रेन इसराइल यूएसए मतलब जैसे हम लोग इंडिपेंडेंस डे मनाते हैं ना सो वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट विक्ट्री डे सेलिब्रेशन इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन दिस कंट्री सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो गाइस एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन और द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए रशिया इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है बिकॉज इट एक्चुअली कमेमोरेट सोवियत यूनियन विक्ट्री ओवर नाजी जर्मनी तो ठीक है सो नाइन्थ मई नाइनटीन को USSR defeated uh, at that time Russia was part of the USSR defeated Germany led by Hitler okay so that is why they celebrate 9th May 9th May as victory day so A is the right answer yes saket you are right very good uh, the next one is is ko yaad rakhna thoda is news mein because Russia is in the news because of Russia Ukraine war and a lot of other reasons the basic cheez bata hona chahiye na uh, the next is what is the total number of seats in Karnataka legislative assembly uh, because i think around april may this year कर्नाटक लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इलेक्शन एंड द रिजल्ट वेर अनाउंस्ड टोटल नंबर ऑफ सीट्स इन कर्नाटक लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली नंबर ऑफ सीट्स सो द राइट आंसर इज एंड हु इज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका आफ्टर द इलेक्शन सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो ठीक है सो टू ट्वेंटी फोर एम एल एज आर दे सो आउट ऑफ दैट 224 divided by 2 plus 1. ठीक ऐसे होता है. It means 112, 113 MLAs minimum is required, है ना? For having the chief minister. So if you see, Congress has 135 MLAs. ठीक है. Half mark cross करना होता है. So half mark is 113, है ना? Cross. So uh, I hope you are aware. So because it was in the news and all uh, in my that uh, BJP lost the election and uh, Congress came to power and Mr. Sitharamaiah is the CM, is the chief minister of Karnataka. Yes, two twenty-four. Very good. The right answer is A. Uh, Saket Alauddin Hakim, you are the right. Uh, the next is India. Last year in November, launched first privately made rocket. What is the name of the manufacturer? Important here. 
फर्स्ट प्राइवेटली मेड रॉकेट लॉकहीड मार्टिन अग्निकुल कॉस्मोस स्कायरूट एरोस्पेस नन ऑफ द बक बताइए तो फर्स्ट प्राइवेटली मेड रॉकेट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरर द राइट आंसर इज अ स्कायरूट एरोस्पेस ने बनाया था सी इज द राइट आंसर देखो ये है विक्रम एस रॉकेट का जो नाम था रॉकेट नेम वॉज विक्रम एस इन द Uh, in the memory of Vikram Sarabhai, one of the founder of Incos Par, which later became uh, Isro and all. Okay, Vikram Sarabhai was a very famous person. He was instrumental in establishing Incos Par. Uh, I think around 1962, 62 ki aspas si baat hai. Later on in 1969, it became Isro. Okay, so Isro ke one of the founders jo the, wo Vikram Sarabhai sab the, wo Incos Par us time pe usko kya the? Okay, so just have an idea. See is the right answer to this question. द नेक्स्ट इज अग्निकुल कॉस्मोस ये इसने क्या किया फर्स्ट प्राइवेटली मेड लॉन्च पैड बनाया प्राइवेटली मतलब फर्स्ट प्राइवेट कंपनी टू हैव लॉन्च पैड ठीक है रॉकेट और लॉन्च पैड अलग चीज होती है रॉकेट इज रॉकेट लॉन्च पैड जहां से लॉन्च होता है ठीक है सो ये जो है ना आई मद्रास के इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर है सो सी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है इसने जो है सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्री हरिकोटा में अपना एक लॉन्च पैड बनाया ठीक है सो यू कैन सी इट हेयर ठीक है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ दिस इज साउदर्न इंडिया ठीक है तो यहां पर समवेयर है यू विल फाइंड ठीक है सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्री हरिकोटा श्री हरिकोटा इट इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश ठीक है स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया ओके द नेक्स्ट इज इसरो कम्स अंडर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस विच इज अंडर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस याद रखिएगा बिकॉज इसरो इज वेरी मच इन द न्यूज स्पेशली बिकॉज ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री एंड ऑल ठीक है चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडिंग वगैरह हुआ है तो आपको पता होना चाहिए सो इट्स अंडर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस इट कम्स डायरेक्टली अंडर पी एम ओ यह याद रखिएगा इट इज अंडर नो मिनिस्ट्री कोई मंत्रालय के अंडर में नहीं है डायरेक्टली इट कम्स अंडर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस ठीक है देखो आप पढ़ना तो सो ही इज द चेयरमैन चेयरमैन ऑफ इसरो इज एक्चुअली सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस एंड हिज नेम इज मिस्टर एस सोमनाथ ठीक है तो सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस भी कहते हैं इसरो के चेयरमैन को ठीक है तो इस मिस्टर एस सोमनाथ आई होप यू आर अवेयर अवेयर वाज वेरी मच इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली तो आपको ये सब पता होना चाहिए बेसिक थिंग ठीक है इट कम्स ये कोई भी मिनिस्ट्री के अंडर में नहीं आता डायरेक्ट पीएमओ मतलब प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस ये मतलब होता पीएमओ का ठीक है सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट वन इज विच आर द फॉलोइंग हैज रिसेंटली बिकम द मेंबर ऑफ नैटो अच्छा नाटो का हेडक्वार्टर बताइए तो कहा नाटो स्टैंड फॉर नॉर्थ एटलांटिक ट्रीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन अप्रील इट इज अ मिलिट्री अलायंस लेड बाय यूएसए है ना सो इट्स हेडक्वार्टर कहां है लेटेस्ट और रिसेंट मेंबर इज फिनलैंड हैज बीन एडेड ठीक है नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ट्रीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का इसका हेडक्वार्टर बताइए बेल्जियम बेल्जियम की कैपिटल है ब्रसल्स हेर यू विल फाइंड द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ नाटो सो डी इज द राइट आंसर ये साकेत अलाउद्दीन सरिश सरिश जोशी वाला राइट हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स आर देयर इन नाटो नाउ अभी जब फिनलैंड के एड होने के बाद कितने मेंबर्स हो गए थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी वन वॉट इज द राइट आंसर बताइए तो वॉट इज द राइट आंसर So basically, there were there were thirty members. One Finland got added. We have thirty one now. So B is the right answer. Yes, Belgium, Brussels. Hey, our side quarter got allowed in a Kansha Tania. You are very calm. So we have now on Finland's journey to join NATO. It has become the thirty first country. The whole April May Sal news meda. And yes, uh, it's important because it has some relation with Russia Ukraine war and all. Okay, so just have an idea. B is the right answer. Yes, allowed in Fabian Thomas. You are right. Okay. Uh, the next one is which country has topped the World Press Freedom Index? Ireland, Sweden, Norway, and Australia. And what is India's rank? India ki rank kitna isme bata na. Or koi si organization nikalti hai? Which organization comes up with World Press Freedom Index? Ye bhi bataiye. So uh, World Press Freedom Day kab manaya jata hai? World Press Freedom Day. is on third may theek hai this third may ko and that's why every year world press freedom index is released on third may okay 
Uh, the rank one is Norway, so C is the right answer to this question. What is India's rank? India ke rank batayye. India's rank is uh, 161. Nahin, uh, 161 out of 180. Even Pakistan ka 150 hai. So just have an idea about it. So C is the right answer. Because yeh sab famous index hai, yeh sab pooche jate hai. Thik hai? So you should be knowing it. Nahin, 150 nahin, 161 hai. Thik hai? And it is released by koon si organization nikal diye? What is the name of? Yes, very good Akansha Kashyap. Reporters without borders. Reporters without borders. Take it without borders. Uh, Isti ka dusra naam hai Reporters Sans Frontier. Reporters. Because in French, Sans Frontier. Don't know which is actually. So I hope you are aware. Uh, this is a French word. Without and Sans. S-A-N-S. Both are same thing. Borders and Frontiers. Both are same thing. So in uh, RSF bhi likhte hai, reporters sans frontier bhi likhte hai, yeah, reporters without borders likhte hai, both are same thing. It's actually a Paris based organization or Fair France based, Paris is the capital, hai na? So you should be knowing it. So C is the right answer. So pata hona chahiye. Okay, uh, the next is what is the name of the outgoing CM of Karnataka? Outgoing, matlab before my election, he was the chief minister of Karnataka. And now we have Siddhar Amaya, Mr. Siddhar Amaya as the CM, hai na? So, before him, who was the CM of Karnataka? Mr. B.S. Bomai. So, B is the right answer to this question. So, he was the CM of Karnataka and after he lost the election, I mean, the BJP lost the election, Congress came to power and Sridhar is the new CM. Okay, so just have an idea, B is the basic thing, B is the right answer. Okay, the next is, which article talks about the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of intoxicating drinks and drugs which are injurious to health? This line is mentioned where? Article 47, 44, 48, 49. Now, why I'm discussing? Because a lot of times you must have seen the news of Hooch tragedy. You have seen in newspaper. Hooch tragedy, you understand? Zahreli sharaab peene se jab maut ho jati hai, to aise likhte hai, newspaper wale. Hooch tragedy means when people die because of uh, spurious liquor. Spurious likhte hai, S-P-U-R-I-O-U-S. Spurious. Okay, yes, so actually article 47 talks about it. Uh, why? Because of course, uh, Bihar, Gujarat, these states have implemented this 47 article. And that is why uh, in Bihar and state of Gujarat, the liquor is banned. You can probably know that in Bihar, there is also a liquor banned. Is the right answer? Yes, Femin, Thomas, Saket, Sariga, you all are right. Mr. H.D. Devagoda was the Prime Minister of India from? When did he become the Prime Minister? Koi bata sakta hai, he's from Karnataka. His son was also our PR, the Chief Minister of Karnataka. HD Devagoda was Prime Minister from 1996 to 1997, one year. So B is the right answer. Thik hai. Uh, the next is, uh, dekho, ek, uh, IPEF hai. Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Uh, is actually uh, there are four pillars India has signed three pillars and one it has not signed what is that pillar what is the pillar that India has not signed kiya? yes so basically trade pillar India has not signed it other three India have signed it so just have an idea uh, this is an initiative of Joe Biden the US president and all okay launched last year Okay, Indo-Pacific ka matak kya hota hai? Say for example, this is Indian Ocean, hai na? And this is Pacific Ocean. Okay, yaan pe US hai, India hai, China hai. So this entire region is called as Indo-Pacific. Ye term likhte hai, international relations mein. Okay? Okay, now, so Indo-Pacific is going to be the, uh, uh, Indo, so they have come up with Indo-Pacific economic framework. So, koon si, dekho, yaan pe green country, so US hai, then um, India is there, Australia is there, New Zealand is there, Japan and South Korea. So they have come up with this. To have uh, to improve trade and all 14 countries are total okay so but india agreed to three pillars and uh, did not agree to trade pillar okay so just have an idea uh the next is how many members are there in monetary policy committee so this is a policy committee which is instrumental in deciding repo rate reverse repo rate yes of decide karte hai. so for example monetary policy committee actually the head is who is the head of monetary policy committee head kon hote? anyone so it is, a, it is actually six member committee headed by RBI governor. And who is the RBI governor? Batayye. 
and it decides this abhi recent 10 august ki news rbi's monetary policy committee keeps policy rate policy rate matlab repo rate unchanged cpi inflation projection for fy24 fiscal year 2023 24 iska matlab hota hai fiscal year 2023 24 revised to 5.4% theek hai so rbi uh, monetary policy committee ke jo head hote hain wo rbi governor hote hain so b is the right answer mr shakti kanta das aapko pata hoga naam to bata do shakti kanta das is the current rbi governor and of course by default the chairman of mpc monetary policy committee uh, the next is what is the inflation target of rbi matlab kitna ke beech rehna chahiye ye target hai rbi ka 2 to 6% 4 to 6% 5 to 8 1 to 7 what is the right answer sabko like button press kar do guys everyone please press the like button subscribe to our channel Inflation target of RBI is actually 2 to 6 percent. You know, 4 plus minus 2 percent as a target. So, if our inflation in India is between 2 to 6 percent, it is considered as good, otherwise, it is considered as bad. Well, bad, bad in sense, that's not if it is less than 2 percent or if it is more than 6. So, those are 6 percent is the right answer. Yes, Sariga is right, Saget is right, not 4 to 6, 4 plus minus 2, which means 2 to 6 percent. So A is the right answer. Okay. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baidu's exam prep app. So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.